Hello, so good morning. Today we will be talking about the genetic chapter and uh, we will be talking about the autosomal dominant conditions and their genetics. First of all, I would like to tell you a mnemonic. Okay, so this mnemonic is for autosomal recessive disease and it is for autosomal dominant disease. For recessive disease, uh, I will record another lecture right now just focus on the dominant condition okay so the mnemonic is suppose you are having a hand okay so there is a recessive white cyst on your big dominant hand so autosomal disease involves a recessive white cyst on my big hand suppose here you go you are having a hand and on hand you are having a white cyst okay so cyst we will talk in another lecture because these are all the recessive disorders now we will just talk about the hand okay now what the mnemonic is on my big hand dominant hand on for all all start will starts with osteogenesis imperfecta okay and the n for hereditary non polyposis coli m for marfan syndrome b for brca1 and 2 gene mutation h for huntington's okay and H for the two, there are two H's in the hand. So hereditary spherocytosis and A for adult polycystic kidney disease. And N for neurofibromatosis and D for von Willebrand disease. Okay, D for D disease. So these are all the autosomal dominant condition. So just memorize this mnemonic and you will be able to recall them all. Okay. So the next thing, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, uh, points to remember, okay? Now I will try to show you their uh, genetic sequence, okay? So suppose you are both parents, suppose here is a mother, okay? And uh, here is a father. So the father is having a normal genes, which is AA, but the mother is having one abnormal gene. Remember, it is always one, okay? And so what happens is when these uh, A abnormal with the uh, normal A combines together, it forms AA, okay? And this will be abnormal child, normal child, okay? Defective child. Now the A will combine with another A, it will form abnormal child, okay, abnormal child. Now this A will combine with this one to form AA, which is normal. And lastly, this A and the last A will combine together to form two A's, which is again normal. So you can see here, genotypically, if one gene is defective, so the patient, one gene is uh, enough to cause the disease. You see, one gene is, is one gene is enough to cause the disease. If uh, either it may be mother or the father, it doesn't matter. The, okay, so here you see, there is the fifty ratio of disease patient, and fifty of the percent will be normal. Remember, there will be no carrier state, no carrier in state, no carrier in autosomal dominant okay all these conditions like on my big hand okay so let's uh, now make the uh, father defective it doesn't matter okay the sex doesn't matter now let's see if if the father is having the disease and mother is normal so again, when AA combines together, it will form the disease AA. Again, the disease defective patient. And when this small A combine together, they will uh, give birth to a normal child. And lastly, when AA combines together, they will give birth to a normal child. So you can see 50% of them will be normal and 50% will carry the disease. Okay, and you can see there is no carrier state state okay in 
autosomal dominant condition. So there is no carrier, remember always. Now about the sex, sex doesn't matter, okay? Sex doesn't matter. Because we are talking about the autosomal chromosome, the 22 chromosome, not the last X and Y. That's why we are not using XY. We are just uh, focusing on the 22 uh, autosomal chromosome. It might be 1, 2, 3, 4, until 22, okay? These all 22 chromosome makes up your body, like eyes, hands, bones, and organs. So both of the sexes, mother or father, are having the all the important organs or all those uh, organelles, okay? So we are not talking about the uh, sex chromosome or x link chromosome. We are just talking about the autosomal. So which are, autosome means body forming uh, genes, okay? So there are three points you should remember. The one is only one defective gene or allele is required to cause the disease. Here, as I showed you, there is only one defective gene required to transfer the disease to the children okay and the second one is male and female sex doesn't matter any parent can transfer the disease to any of their child regardless of the sex because they these are autosomal condition okay so whatever the scenario is it might be male it might be female or anyone okay so both have the chances equal chances to get the disease the last one is penetrance uh penetrance is the ability of a defective for the sake of autosomal disease, I have uh, uh, defined it, uh, defined the penetrance, okay? So, ability of the defective gene to express itself. It, uh, so, suppose the genotypically, <clears throat> there is one genotype type and phenotype. Genotype is what you have in the chromosome level, at the genes level. And phenotype is what you are, suppose you, are, you must be having black and brown hairs from the mother and black hairs from the hairs from the father. But uh, ultimately, you must now be having black because black is the dominant color. So it means that genotypically, you must be having two colors. But phenotypically, the one which is appearing, the one which is expressing now uh, is black. Okay. Uh, same way, uh, they, you may be having some gene, uh, um, gene disturbances in your genotype. But phenotypically, what it express is different. Okay. Now, incomplete penetrance means when some of the uh, some of the girls they might be having BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutation uh, lying in their genetics or in their genes, but they might not hundred uh, percent express they might not hundred percent express the disease. Okay, and uh, while complete penetrance means that there is hundred percent. 100% surety that this disease will occur in the next generation, okay? Penetrance means the ability of defective gene to express itself. So, here, neurofibromatosis is 100% effective to express itself in the next generation, okay? But BRCA1 and 2 is an example of incomplete penetrance where you don't see 100% penetrance, okay? Some of the girls might have the um, disease or s some of the the girls might not have okay uh, despite the fact that their mother might be a disease patient so i guess it uh, this is all okay